Hello students, welcome back to the channel. Students, in this video, we are going to study a very important formula from class 11th physics chapter thermodynamics and that formula is called the heat transfer formula. What is that? Let us say we have a conductor. Conductor means a material which is a good conductor of heat. Suppose if we heat this material from one end, let us say that we are heating this piece from this end, right? Since it is a good conductor of heat, so initially the temperature of this part will be more, but it is a good conductor of heat, so heat starts traveling from this end to that end and with time the temperature of whole this rod will increase and eventually the temperature of each and every part of this rod will become equal right so we have to have a formula which gives us the rate of transfer of heat from one part of the conductor to other part with time right suppose this conductor has two cross sections separated by some distance let us say delta x right this has two cross sections this one and this one and these two cross sections are separated by a distance delta x obviously this cross sections this cross section is nearer to the end which we are heating so temperature of this part will be more right and temperature of this part will be less if the temperature difference between these two cross sections is delta t then we can say that the temperature of this if this temperature of this part is t then temperature of this cross section will be t minus delta t and heat is flowing in this direction right everything is clear okay so the rate of flow of heat which is given as delta q divided by delta t the rate of flow of heat depends number one on the temperature difference divided by the distance which will be called as the temperature difference per unit length and in physics terms it is called the temperature gradient if we divide any change in any physical quantity with length if we are saying anything with respect to length like velocity difference with respect to length or pressure difference with respect to length or temperature difference with respect to length anything taken with respect to length is termed as the gradient so we will call it temperature gradient we will call it temperature gradient right more is the difference of temperature per unit length between the two cross section more will be the rate of flow of heat through that material number two it depends it depends on it depends on a a is what a is the area of cross section of this material this piece right more is the area of cross section more will be the rate of flow of heat from one cross section to the other cross section now if we combine all these only two so we can we get delta q by delta t is directly proportional to a into delta t by delta x and if we put a constant and instead of proportionality sign we will get equality sign so this formula becomes k a delta t by delta x and this formula is called heat transfer formula for obvious reasons because it is giving a formula to find the rate of flow of heat through a conductor per unit time here k is a constant this k is called the coefficient of coefficient of thermal conductivity coefficient of thermal coefficient of thermal conductivity or simply con not the coefficient it, it is simply called 
द थर्मल कंडक्टिविटी द थर्मल कंडक्टिविटी ऑफ द मटेरियल राइट डिफरेंट मटेरियल्स हैव डिफरेंट वैल्यूज ऑफ द कोफिशियंट ऑफ थर्मल कंडक्टिविटी इफ द वैल्यू ऑफ द कोफिशियंट ऑफ थर्मल कंडक्टिविटी ऑफ अ मटेरियल इज मोर दैट मींस दैट मोर हीट विल बी फ्लोन थ्रू दैट कंडक्टर पर यूनिट टाइम फ्रॉम वन क्रॉस सेक्शन टू अदर क्रॉस सेक्शन राइट सो वट इज द एस आई यूनिट सिंस के इज वॉट के इज डेल्टा क्यू बाई डेल्टा टी एंड डेल्टा क्यू बाई डेल्टा टी इज एनर्जी पर यूनिट टाइम विच इज वॉट यस एनर्जी पर यूनिट टाइम इज नथिंग बट पावर एंड द एस आई यूनिट ऑफ पावर इज वॉट एंड देन दिस ए विल कम इन द डिनोमिनेटर सो वी कैन राइट द एस आई यूनिट ऑफ एरिया मीटर स्क्वेयर एंड दिस दिस डेल्टा एक्स विल कम इन न्यूमिनेटर एस आई यूनिट इज मीटर एंड दिस टेम्परेचर विल कम इन डिनोमिनेटर एंड द एस आई यूनिट इज कैलविन राइट सो इफ this m if we cancel 1m with this m then k is then k is volt per meter per kelvin that is the standard unit of coefficient of thermal conductivity how we are going to use this formula let us say let us see an example suppose there is a window of a room made up of glass right this is the window of a room which is made up of glass and the thickness of this glass is suppose 10 cm right and the area of cross section of the window let us say is 100 cm square right okay the thermal conductivity of the glass is 0.8 volt per meter per kelvin and the temperature of the temperature of the room on the left hand side of this window is the room and on the right hand side is the outside world right so the temperature of the room is let us say 20 degree centigrade and there is winter season in this region so let us say the temperature of outside is uh, suppose 5 degree centigrade right so temperature of outside is 5 degree centigrade so we just have to find how much heat is being transferred from room obviously the heat will get transferred from a region of higher temperature to the region of lower temperature so let us say we have to find how much heat is being transferred from the room to the Uh, surroundings per unit time so we will find delta q by delta t and we will use this formula what was the formula formula was k a delta t by delta x so the value of k in si unit is 0.8 and what is the area area is okay this is a very small window area means if area is 10 if area is 100 cm square which means the length and breadth is just 10 cm practically that looks weird so uh, let us say uh, the area is 1000 m square let us say the area is 1000 m square or 2000 m square to make it look more realistic so the area is 2000 m square but uh, sorry cm square but to convert centimeter square into meter square we have to multiply it with 10 raised to power minus 4 okay what is delta t delta t is the temperature difference between the two cross sections so what is the temperature difference temperature difference is 15 degree centigrade or we can say 15 kelvin divided by the distance between the two cross sections which is which is the thickness of the window which is 10 cm and we will convert that 10 into meter by dividing it by 100 so this 10 this 10 goes into the numerator and this becomes 8 
एंड दिस इज फिफ्टीन इंटू टू थर्टी एंड टेन रेस टू पावर थ्री माइनस फोर टेन रेस टू पावर माइनस वन राइट एंड दिस इज जस्ट एक टेन से टेन कटा दिस इज ट्वेंटी फोर इन एस आई यूनिट ट्वेंटी फोर वॉट और वी कैन से ट्वेंटी फोर जूल ऑफ हीट इज गोइंग आउट थ्रू दिस विंडो पर यूनिट टाइम राइट so this is how you can use the heat transfer formula it is a very important formula in unit thermodynamics and mainly the chapter heat and uh, the thermal properties of heat from class 11 physics ncrt so i'll meet you in the next lecture till then all the very best